Hello and welcome to this course with Groove 3. This course will show off all the new features that were added in Ableton Live 11. So what I'll be doing is showing you how everything works and talking a bit about how it could be used in your productions. So feel free to skip around depending on what you're needing to learn, or if there are certain features that you already know, you can skip that video and move on to the features that you want to know more about. So you can almost think of this as a video manual for the new update so that you can go through and learn what you're needing to. Let's start off with one of the more practical features that I was really excited about in the Ableton Live 11 update, and that is the new keys and scales mode inside of the MIDI sequencer. So previously inside of Live, we just had the MIDI clips and then all of the kind of the keys available in those MIDI clips. So if I went in and hit Shift Command and M to create a new MIDI clip, it just shows me just the MIDI keyboard. But now the next thing that they add in the update, if we see over here in the clip view, is the new scale mode. So what I could do is turn this on, and then you'll see that all my keys are now illuminated. The green keys are letting me know that this is in the scale that I'm working with. So for example, this is set to C major. So all of these green notes are C major. And then you'll see the one that has over here where it says C, and this will kind of tell me the root of that scale. So I can quickly jump to whatever root I choose. So I'm going to change this to, let's say, D sharp, E flat, minor. Now we can see it's change all of these green keys over to our new scale. And it also shows me the root note over here. So every time I change my root, the only note that you'll see is going to be the root note over here. So you can quickly find out where the first is in your scale. The nice part about this is you have tons of different options. So you have all the different notes that you could choose from, and then you have all of the different types of scales here. Usually I just use major and minor scales. But if you want to try something unusual and unexpected, you could use like a blues scale if you're writing something in a blues style, or you can even use these more unusual scales to get some interesting ideas. And it kind of quickly creates some things you may not have thought of if you didn't use the scale feature. So it's a really great feature for songwriting because it just makes the process a lot faster. So let's go ahead and choose the A minor scale here and show you how this works. So what we could do is just select our notes. We could do a simple one, three, and five chord. So the first, the second, the third, fourth, and the fifth. And then now we have that basic chord. Let's also turn that down too, because it's quite loud. And the cool thing is, we also create notes that are outside of the scale. So sometimes you'll be working on a production and you kind of have an unusual chord sequence or an unusual melody, and you may want to go slightly out of the scale. So the cool thing is with this scale mode, you actually have all these different options that aren't a part of the scale. So if you were working on an arrangement that's a little bit more unusual, you're not locked into the actual scale. This is just a really great guide for everything. Unlike the MIDI scales feature that was previously inside of Ableton. So that could just be super helpful if you're working on something a little bit more unusual. The cool thing is you also have the scale mode over here, and this will fold everything so you just see the notes that are in your scale. This can make it just a little bit easier to work with, if you're trying to create different note intervals. This also keeps things a bit more organized. And you also have the fold feature, which will fold to just the notes that you're playing. The cool thing about this mode is it makes creating chords super easy if you just know the basic intervals. So what we already did is a basic one, three, and five chord. Now let's say I wanted to make a suspended fourth. That would be the first note here, the A, and then we would go up to the fourth. So it'd be one, two, three, and four. And then that would also be the fifth. So one, four, and five. And that gives me a suspended fourth. And we could also do kind of unusual chords really quickly. We could do a one, three, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we could add the sixth to create kind of an unusual chord. Could be nice in a production. So you can just look up very basic chord interval structures, and then you can easily create the chords in whatever scale you're working at. So if you change it over to another key, you could go one, three, and five, and then you have your new chord in the key of F sharp minor. So this is a really great feature that was added in the update. I use it all the time in my productions, and it's definitely something that you'll want to check out. 